Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We have three very special guests. We have two people from a fellow rep group based out of California, Greg Laffin, who is the principal of Carl Ergonomics, and then, Ergonomics. oh, sorry, Cal <laughs> Ergonomics, All right. and then John Anderson, who is the general John. manager at Cal Ergonomics, and Bob Kroon, who is the CEO of August Barris, the special product we're going to be talking about today. Um, and then we're also joined by Dave Takiwa, who is the CEO of New Space, a dealership that Carl Ergon or Cal Ergonomics had worked with on the Merck project, a project we're going to highlight during the, the call. So well, thanks so much good, for joining pretty, us, guys. Pretty good pronunciation there. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so the new office is missing something when it comes to hybrid workplaces. These coffee shop inspired areas allowing employees to choose where and how they work aren't complete without flexibility and speed mm -hmm. and ergonomics. We've seen a growing number of companies market solutions for work areas, things like lounge and collaborative furniture, and we understand that you guys have a very unique answer. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Why don't you tell uh, us? Would you like to start? Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, uh, John, switch the camera for me. Go for it. First, yeah, that's fine. So what we have here, okay, what we have here is the, the first cordless workstation. And, and as you might notice, uh, we're, we have a battery. Uh, we're powering a monitor. Uh, uh, or and a laptop. Over here we have a cordless uh, or wireless phone charger, and and we all also have a, a sit stand uh, mechanism built in, and that can operate remotely from your phone. So from for a um, shared workspace or agile workspace or flexible workspace, right? we, we, uh, we can ergonomically, right? Your preferences travel with you from workstation to workstation. Um, customers tell us, first of all, that they like the cordless feature most of all. And we're getting re really good feedback on that. Almost everyone loves that. You, you, you agree? You kind of you heard that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you might go on. Go, go ahead. So we we've recently showed the product. Let's switch back to this other camera. At uh, four different shows, um, and the response. So we're we're you know this is a real state of the art solution right now, you guys. It's there's nothing like it on the market. Um, battery power, uh, the sustainability aspects of it. We're literally powering that entire workstation, their monitor, everything. Uh, this particular unit, and we're working with AT and T right now to make that an AT uh, to make that a hotspot. Mm -hmm. So each workstation will have its own Wi-Fi connection as well. Um, I, I would say it's there's probably nothing like this kind of product on the market. Hey, Greg, so that battery's got to be huge to power all that stuff. Like, what's the battery look like? Right here. Yeah, right here. So this is this is the battery. Right here, we got a couple of them right here. Yeah. And they literally, I mean, they're this size. They'll they'll last. Um, if if we were to power up everything there over a complete workday, we're looking at about six to seven hours. We have some users tell us they go all day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it obviously depends on. The power consumption of the, you know, bigger monitors take more power. So mm -hmm. it, 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 I know I'm <laughs> deferring, deflecting, right? But it does def depend a little bit on what you what you're using as equipment. But for the most part, you're going to do one battery swap a day. Um, as you can see, we have a, a desktop charger in the background here. We have a, a single cart that will charge 24. Batteries, you can set that up on a time, you know, buy a little timer, charge it at night. One 20 amp outlet will charge 24 batteries. 
So you can charge using off peak power. Everybody comes back in the morning, they have a fully charged battery. Uh, if you don't have, if you want a smaller solution, we have a, a desktop charger here. It's in the camera, I guess that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, a desktop charger, and which will do three. Uh, this also will daisy chain. So we can do three, six, nine, if, if you wanted to. Of course, when you get too many, you might as well do the cart. <laughs> so uh, uh, both, uh, so we have more, more than one solution. Uh, the battery passes every engineering <laughs> thing known to man in every country in the world. <laughs> so uh, yeah, all it's got to do is pass California and we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the toughest one. That was the last one, right? <laughs> so like on the, on the, the amount of electricity, you know, that it takes, is this taking up the same amount as what a standard station would take? Like if I just had a bunch of cubicles or is it saving any electricity? Uh, um, actually, it's in some ways it's using less. What, what the station we showed you, that, that workstation is running on less power than if it was a, the old 60 watt incandescent light bulb. Wow. Uh -huh. it, uh, the, yeah, we recommend monitors from LG and Samsung, and we, ha we have um, power supplies that we can directly power them. And, and so we're not converting AC to DC to AC to DC like, like some people do. And that, that, of course, doing all of that is heat. And that, that just adds to your air conditioning load too. share with them some of the reactions to the clients at the shows. Okay, yeah. Um, well, that all sounds really exciting. And we understand you've been working alongside uh, Dave here for the Merck project. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Dave, this is your cue if you want to jump in. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Merck was uh, uh, looking for something more cutting edge. Um, then they actually had a budget for putting together something new. They are already set up in uh, open atmosphere with um, um, high shaped work surfaces, and uh, they were limited. Uh, they were and they were looking for something more cutting edge. <clears throat> They're looking also to implement this uh, uh, company wide, and so Merck in uh, South San Francisco was chosen to do the project uh, and see how it would work. Merck's got a lot of older buildings throughout the uh, throughout the nation. Uh, and the issue has always been, you know, we've always we've always figured out how we can, you know, you can you can get around uh, data by you know, going wireless. But the whole thing was you can never get around electrical. You had to have some way to plug something in, whether it's a base feed, whether it's some type of power source, whether you have to plug into the wall. Uh, here's a way that they were able to go ahead and uh, can get that done and and, and have have mobility. Uh, the Merck, the 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 response from Merck uh, has been uh, exceptional. Um, they like they like the product. Uh, they move it around. It is not a startup or even a private company Series A or B solution. This is an advanced uh, system that you know for for facilities uh, facilities managers or for uh, companies that are concerned about. Uh, not only getting getting the flow down electricity, but being able to be completely mobile. Uh, the battery units, um, the issue Merck's been having lately, uh, the battery units are starting to disappear on that, Bob. They're okay. taking them, other people from other floors have figured out that they can take the battery unit, plug their laptop USB-C into it, and they're 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 taking them. You know, they they go up to the cart and half the batteries are gone. Send more orders, Dave. <laughs> yeah, know. I mean, you know, but uh, you know that they're they're taking the units and taking them onto different floors and putting them into uh, collaborative areas so that they they can plug in uh, and and go to work and that it's completely mobile. Um, and so it's uh, it, it's proven, like I said, it's proven to be uh, extremely cutting edge. Uh, the client that you're looking for is someone who needs to be into that into into that type of thing. Um, your traditional, you know. Maybe thirty thousand square feet and under type of uh, uh, company that's a private, privately owned and trying to come up. 
uh, unless they're really cutting edge and have a, have a really good budget, they're not they're you know they're they're not going to be looking to get into something like this. You can come up with all the other uh, uh, issues as far as mobility and stuff, uh, but when you throw the uh, when you throw the bottom line when you throw the bottom line price out to it, they it it has to be that type of company. It's a paradigm. It's a full paradigm shift for companies to think about having to be able to be mobile without the having you know we always talk about cutting the cord on electrical. This is cutting the cord on, you know, or sorry, or being mobile. It's really cutting the cord on TV. Uh, it's cutting the cord now on electrical. You know, you can go out and do that. Uh, it's proven to be extremely well taken. Um, Merck initially had to go out and buy all new monitors. Um, we put in a, a dual monitor system on on every setup. Uh, I think, uh, Kelly, I think, are they working off of 32s or are they working off of 20s? I think it's 27s, widescreen 27s off a of dual monitor arm. Um, and, and the system can accommodate it. And they're working anywhere from six hours on it, depending on the type of uh, uh, use that they're taking. The one thing that's, and I, I don't know if you've seen the other option that uh, August Berries has, but they also have a, a, a charging pad where they can just put their, uh, you know, they can put their, uh, their, uh, your, your, your phone on it and charge, charge, from, charge right from the desktop. Um, it's, like I said, it, it's proven to be very good. The response has been extremely well. Um, coming up, I think, in believe February or March, they've asked us to, and I've, we've already mentioned this to Bob and to Greg and to John. Uh, Merck has uh, has the facilities actually puts on a, a a facilities like like almost like their own neocon show. It, don't get me wrong; it has everything to do with you know not only seating and ergonomics, but they also do uh, lab you know lab work and everything else. And like and then this is going to be one of their centerpieces. They want to bring one of the units down and show show all the people. So it's been accepted extremely well. Uh, it's not. It's not for every company. It's not for every department. You know, because it's it's completely uh, it's it's completely mobile. Um, so, Dave, this is well. Damon, really quick. A um, couple quick questions. Um, mm -hmm. Two, I guess three. Um, thank you, by the way, for the presentation. No um, really quick. So, have you at all looked at hospitals? No, we actually haven't. Okay. No, I mean, this was, we are one of the first, I mean, we were, again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong over there, Greg, uh, but we're one of the first installs uh, on the West Coast here. Um, and uh, we're actually going in two phases. The first phase was uh, 12 units and the second phase is going to be another 12 units. Uh, and it was uh, one of their sections and they decided to do it in their facilities department. Uh, so facilities, facilities had it immediately once they, uh, uh, installed it. They put a word out to everybody else. Everybody flooded into uh, flo flooded into see them, um, and you know, word spreading uh, to other departments uh, that, uh, that this is an option for them, so that they can work collaboratively. Yeah, great. So, but, but, but you're correct. I mean, hospitals would be another one. It would be huge. So yeah. I am working on building a courthouse that's 12 stories high, and so I think it would be huge for a courthouse. Um, what? How would I'm in Northern California, like Northern, Northern, so like above Sacramento. Um, how do samples work with you guys? Samples? Samples. Oh, yeah, maybe it's more oh, of a great question. Uh, give us a call. We'll, we'll get you uh, set up. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, guys, that, that does bring up a thing as far as possibly what other type of applications can you possibly see this, you know, working in? Um, and I know, I know you, you know, you're sitting there saying that it's more that the, the the higher level or whatever uh, client, but I don't I don't know if I totally agree or not. But I just wonder what you know, Greg and Bob, and what you guys' thoughts are. Well, we've heard from uh, uh, we we have a, a a job in the hopper right now in Southern California, which is a police station where yeah. where they they simply don't, cannot or don't want to it'd be so costly to to core the floors and. And uh, it's about a forty workstation job. They they uh, but they're they're totally attracted to the notion that they, they can avoid all that ele electrical expense and and keep a relatively small footprint. We uh, we've also heard at some of the trade shows about historical buildings, right? Education, education. Lot, lots of colleges and universities mm -hmm. have uh, very old, gorgeous buildings, right? And to upgrade the tech is really, you don't want to start cutting holes in some of those mass buildings. We have a presentation coming up with uh, Stanford in, uh, in January. 
And that's exactly what they're looking at. They do not want to run power and uh, they want a mobile, something that can break down, move, move around quickly. And uh, yeah, upper education, K through 12, we're not too certain that's going to be a market, but uh, the upper ed certainly, yeah. yeah. And so what are we looking at for lead times roughly overall and then warranty? Uh, well, we, we had, uh, warranty is five years. Uh, effectively, on, on January 1st, we have pretty wide range of products. Uh, same fit, fit finishes like you see here that are going to be available in 10 days to ship. And uh, so it, now if you go off that, right, it, it'd probably be eight weeks. Thank you. Uh, other responses. So I, I mentioned earlier, we've been at four shows now. Luckily on the West Coast, they're, they're nas national shows, but luckily they were in our markets. We were able to get to them. Um, response has just been tremendous. Um, the Not a problem per se with the product, but, you know, if you walk by it or you just show it, you're, you're really, it's a desk looking product, right? And you've got to get through that veil a little bit. And once they understand uh, the key attributes to it, then this deep dive conversation goes in and they, they, they'll they stand there with us for like 30 minutes. We had the Google people, yeah. facilities, design and construction and um, people for Google at this, this show in San Francisco went last month. And once we got through that, they realized what it was. And um, it was like we've been waiting for somebody to do this, so we're in we're in uh, talks with them right now to do a similar thing that Dave's doing with Merck to get a product out there, show it. They bring in their teams. We may just leave it there, and uh, it's just just this kind of game changer paradigm discussion. And it's that's the good news. The, the kind of the bad news is we're really having to change how we go to market, how we tune our words. Uh, we're not necessarily talking to the traditional furniture idea. Um, other, other, um, I would say, um, stakeholders need to be in the discussion to kind of push it through. And I think that's something that Dave has done. Um, your conversations, Dave, originally were with facilities, and they probably brought in sustainability people and these other folks to kind of eyeball this before they pushed it through, forward. Is that correct? Exactly. exactly. It actually went up uh, as high as the CFO because they needed to get a, uh, approval on it. It was something that was completely um, a game changer for them. I mean, they were already pretty much in an open atmosphere. Uh, but now all of a sudden, here's the mobility aspect uh, with, with that portion. They had numerous conversations with other uh, directors across the, uh, across the nation, um, and they were finding their issue was you know, a lot of a lot of the uh, buildings that they were working in were uh, either historical buildings or older built. And they're going. The yeah. biggest problem we have is how do we electrify, get electric electricity to our workstation? And they're having to run conduits and boxes all over the place. And uh, they were just thrilled that there was another option, another option out there. Um, it works. It's like I said, uh, it, it's conceptual change. We're working on uh, another uh, life science company over in the South San Francisco area. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's it's it, it's a it, it definitely is a different type of cell. We, you know? we have another situation with a, a local fella who is a uh, I'll call it, say architect designer, right? Right. They're, they're very well respected, and he has a uh, what we know as a, a Sand Hill Road venture capital firm that he's working with, and it, it's one of the very high profile ones. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I won't say their name, but you would recognize it. <laughs> they, they, he, his comment was, this, this represents the high end of the market. This is the top end of the market. My client wants only the best. And he, he's talking about buying an, a workstation. Well, the client is, will pay the for client, it. Yeah. The client will pay for it and put it in their lobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, while you're doing this, are you doing um, some benchmarking or white papers to help understand the actual like uh, be the cost savings and benefits. I mean, if you don't have to core drill at all, or you don't even have to power or wire an entire brand new floor, it seems like that's a immense savings. 
Yeah, we, we haven't found the right person yet. I, I, I'm looking for an electrical estimator, mm -hmm. right? Where we can do it two ways <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and, and, and take a real life, uh, uh, a real life situation and, and, and have them quoted both ways. That's pretty cool. Yeah, plus the flexibility. I mean, you're not gonna be able to move around your, your desks if you have electric. So you got to factor that into the cost as well. Well, well, that's why we were talking about flexible workspaces, right? right? Yeah. yeah, it's one thing to be a flexible worker, but if if your workspace is fixed, it, it, that's hard. It, it, uh, Greg and I were talking yesterday. We hear here there there's similar words that are being said. We've we've talked to clients who who well, we're thinking about agile workspaces or we're experimenting with them. Or we haven't done that yet, and, it, and mm -hmm. everybody knows they want to go there. They don't quite know how to get there from here. There, there's, it's like there's more words than action. Yeah, and plus the ergonomic benefits of having the desk height and something height adjustable. What other ergonomic benefits do you guys see with your product? Uh, well, um, th th there's a natural one in, in a flexible workspace, right? One of the old time ergonomic recommendations was get up and walk around. Well, when you had a panel system and you and you were anchored to a, a certain space, then then you you didn't move. But if you have soft seating and tables and and we we've made the battery portable, you can get up and work anywhere, right? And that that's healthy for you. Uh, the I didn't get into it, but the the app also has um, push notifications. And it will tell you you've been sitting too long. It's time to stand, or it's, you've been standing too long. It's time to sit. Uh, uh, certain people may want to do that more or less often. It's customizable that way. Uh, the, so uh, sitting and standing is, is take, kind of, let's say, taken to a, a, a another level. Uh, we also concerned ourselves with the desk layout and what your reach patterns are and giving you enough work area to, 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 to work with. Um, John, you want to show a video? We're just going to show some visuals here. But the visuals? Yeah. Really quick, Greg, um, um, yep. to say that I think the biggest thing with this product is going to be demos. So if we like put these in different clients' hands, have them move them around, use it, because like they're not going to understand it until it's convenient, if that makes sense. You're right on. Mm -hmm. yeah. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a sample is worth a thousand pictures. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to borrow that. So the design of the work surface, you guys will notice, has a nice concave. And we, we've had, I don't know, 10 ergonomists come in here and look at it, and they're, all of them are just like, thank you. So the reach patterns and the way your body is sort of in a semi-cockpit, it's not real drastic, but it, it's still from a, uh, you know, a, view, a design view, it's still uh, very nice, but they're very appreciative of that. Well, we've also relieved the back of the desk a little bit, so you can put a monitor, clamp on a monitor arm, and, 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 and it doesn't... It, it doesn't ex make the desk bigger to do that. Well, that is a good point, Greg. You guys have, you know, I don't know even know if we have an ergonomist living in the state of Ohio. Um, <laughs> you probably have quite a few. You do. In, in you just that, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they do office type of stuff. So it's great to hear that the ergonomists, you know, are positive about the. Yeah. the Tim, the, the first ergonomics meeting with the BIFMA engineering committee mm -hmm. was at Miami University in Ohio. Yeah. Really? How about that? Was that back in like 1902 or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was, was about when you were born. Uh, it, 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 well, it's it's not, a, it was about 1985 or 1986. Yes. I went to the meeting. They went out with the gold rush to find gold. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm that old. I'm so old. I actually attended that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Another aspect of the product, and Dave, maybe you can jump in on a little bit on this, um, the fact that it's so easily uh, reconfigured, you can move it. We could literally, that little workstation you're seeing right there, mm -hmm. we could move that 15 feet away in five minutes. 
And there's a whole, this is just one portion of the product, but there's lounge seating. Uh, there's a little storage cabinet where you can put all your equipment and backpack and everything. And everything is all mobile. Hey, so Greg, so, Greg, yeah. that thing looks like a, a tank as far as, that's got to be a pain in the you know what to put together, especially when you have, you know, the technology with the battery and everything. No, else. That, uh, we, the, the only thing, <laughs> If you're capable of driving four bolts on each leg, that's all you need to do. Everything, everything else is already pre-wired, pre-connected. The the wally we call the wallies, they're on hinges. They fold up, and and you take them off the pallet and unfold them, and that's what you have to do with that. <laughs> the, uh, I don't I don't have a good number on this either, but we've taken out at least seventy five percent of the installation cost. Wow. All of this product in our showroom, you guys, Tim, you haven't been to our showroom, I don't think, but the street side, the truck had to park out there. It was a, what, a 50 foot or whatever. Um, we pulled it off the truck. There was no, uh, no, no uh, drop gate. And we shipped, we, we ran it across the parking lot, had it all done within an hour. Nice. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions for Bob or Greg or Dave? Okay. Anything in the oh, chat? I, yeah, nothing's in the chat. I have one. So the base looks very large. I was just wondering, like, why, I guess, is there such uh, a large base on the desk? Uh, well, it, it's, it, it, it angles a little bit, so you have good leg space. But we wanted to use large casters because we wanted to talk about being able to uh, uh, go across door thresholds and cross sidewalks and such. We, we didn't want to use wimpy little chair casters that would break, right? And, and so we, we, we went with some pretty hefty casters for mobility. And, and then on, on the desk itself, right, it sort of works like a wheelbarrow. Under the front side is, is a rubber pad and once it's set in place, it, it doesn't move, but lift it an inch and you can roll it around the office. Very cool. So really yeah, quick on the nice. cast so Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, really quick on the casters. So as we all know, chairs um, for like hard floors or carpet floors, do you have rubber and plastic? Um, uh, if you look at the cat, if you look at the caster, the, the you see a tire on it, the black it, that yeah. that that is a rubber caster, a rubber a, a soft edge to it. So pretty much that's the go-to is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it works with carpet or hard floors. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Maybe touch on what we're doing with the panel system with the power. With, with oh, power. Reflex. Okay, well, <laughs> all right. We we have a, a, a new product that is is probably a whole that we're we're thinking about it as another complete additional product line. We we've learned enough about how to do power here, and part of, uh, part of what prompts this is what customers are telling us, uh, particularly in government agencies and cities and counties. They're, 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 some of them are still back in the using panel systems. And, and, or, and, and they, they're not real anxious to move away from that. Sometimes they have unions and they have to, they, they've standardized on an eight by eight footprint, things like that, but they really reacted well to the, the power. So what we're developing is a retrofit kit where we can take any panel system workstation and make, and make it cordless. And have no uh, no cords on the floor with them. In, in other words, better than the original equipment. And we already have the charging systems, and we already we're we're well along, and we we've conceiving it in a way that it, that uh, an installer can can install it. It doesn't have to go back to a factory. You know, no special training. It's something that can ha happen during an installation process. What? Go ahead, Pete. Well, so, so it's almost like a, a wireless beam system that anyone could use their product off of the it, No, it's, a, it's about a, 
I'll, I'll, I'll refer to it as about a seven and a half by 15 uh, right. dashboard. Yeah. And, and, and you, yeah. you rot a hole in a work surface and, and it clamps together in the work surface and you have a docking station and, and the, the monitor cords, everything, everything's built into one unit. Wow, wow, wow. That, that's what great. Yeah, I, I want to thank everybody for joining us and for coming in. Um, guys, thank you so much. I, I think uh, there's a lot of other uses too, as far as this goes, just because of these spaces that people are trying to create. They're not very ergonomical. And I think you, you know, people are trying to get their companies back or their people back to the office. These could, you know, be the ultimate as far as I can move my desk wherever I want to sit type of piece even outside you know you can put it outside and work outside for the day mm -hmm. so if if you do you know need a sample and you're in ohio indiana western pa kentucky west virginia we have a sample that we can get to you um so we'd love to bring it out and show it to you and now we're going to draw real quick as far as for the little giveaway and the first one is leslie from rcf group I can almost see. <laughs> Free trip to Hawaii. Yeah. Myron <laughs> Cromer. Woohoo. And then the last one, whoops. The last one is Ashley Weber. Nice. So thank you, everybody. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we can hook you up. And thanks again, everybody. And thanks, thanks for the time, everybody. Thanks, thanks everybody. Thank, thank you, guys. You.